Hello guys, my name is Sissy and uh, this is my first YouTube video and I'm going to talk about Japanese sunscreen. Um, so I I have not been like the American sunscreen. Why? Probably you guys already know. So it is oily and thick. So make you don't feel like you want to, you know, repeat during the daytime. So even Neutrogena Ultra Sheer 55 SPF sunscreen, it got a very good review online. However, I'm still not satisfied with this one. Why? It is. It says ultra sheer. However, it is not. So it is like peel off. And if you put a little bit more, peel off and blow off. So and also if you put the foundation or powder over this, then it is like a it is like mud. When you touch it, it peel off. So it's really I don't I don't like it. <laughs> so um, then I was looking for what is a better sunscreen. Then I discovered. Japanese sunscreen. So today I'm going to talk about um, six different type of Japanese sunscreen. So at the beginning I was thinking, oh, there were, looks like a lot of Japanese sunscreens online available. I didn't know which one to choose. What is the difference between them? So I, I'm sure you guys have a same question about this. So many different brand which one's better. So I bought last year, I bought a six different kind. So to try out, then I'm going to let you guys to know um, what texture is like and uh, what is my experience with them. Okay. So first, this one is Nivea uv spf 50 sunscreen gel so it is my favorite one during the winter why i say the winter because it is more lighter weight so i think it is less coverage and also it's pa trip plus so plus 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 it is one plus less than the rest of japanese sunscreen i got however the texture it is my favorite because let me show you it is number one the package is a pump so pump is really really convenient okay it just says gel gel means um, water base it is very lightweight so very easy to apply, make you, you don't mind just repeat, you know, um, apply it for the coverage. So the winter has the lighter UV ray. So this one, I think suitable for winter, my favorite one. As after I blend, it's very easy to blending. It feel like nothing on, but you feel like moisturize the skin. So Nivea is, is called the Super Water 50 Gel. My favorite sunscreen, Japanese sunscreen for the winter. Next one, I'm going to talk about Hada Lobo, the white UV gel. So this one is really good for, because moisturizing, if your skin feel dry, um, I think it's good for four seasons because give you moisturizer and also with the UV 50, it got a plus, 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 four plus. So very good for four seasons. Let me show you the texture. It is a little bit thicker um, compared to the last one. This, let me show you. 
So this is the texture. Very easy to blending. It does not peel off after you put the foundation or powder. I think this is good for someone want the sunscreen and the moisturizer combined in one. And uh, it is good for four seasons. This one I like it. I use very often. And also this one has the vitamin C inside. It offers the skin whitening and also hyaluronic acid inside. So it's good for keep the skin nice moisturizing. So next one, Bio. It is a Bio UV, also SPF 50, 50 plus. This one, It is, I would say it is between Hard Labo White Gel and the Nivea UV Water Gel. So this one, let me show you. It's slightly harder to blending compared to the, the White Gel. And also the company, 2019, they changed the texture a little bit, has a little bit like the bead. They call it slightly like a tiny, tiny bead. You can blend it out, but I believe that change to, is to make the better function for black the sun, sun rays. So still a good one and also slightly making skin slightly white. So I'm as an Asian we like a little bit fair skin so it doesn't bother me. It is not like thick white cast. So just slightly. So this um good for everyday use. Next one I want to talk about, it is the Can Make. Can Make um, Mermaid Sheer. It is also gel and also it's a UV black SPF 50 PV, PA got a four plus as well. So this one, let me show you. A little bit different. The package is smaller, um, about the same cast, but the package is smaller. However, okay. It is also like, sort of like gel creaming between type. It's easy to blend in, but it does make a little bit shimmery look okay um i think this one is very good for young people because they have a good skin texture as we know shimmery is not good for the mature skin it would make the, the skin texture even more obvious so this one it says has all of the incense inside you don't need a moisturizer however i tried just apply just this without a moisturizer, then my skin sort of felt like tight and dry and tight. So, however, if I do put the moisturizer before this, I mean, after this sunscreen, I feel great. Next one, I'm going to talk about Skin Aqua. It's called a Tone Up UV um, Incense Sunscreen. It got the same SPF 50 plus and the PA 4 plus. Okay, so the, the difference about this one, it is, it is a tone up, has a little bit the purple tone, which 
can correct for the good for you if your skin tone has more yellowish look so it can correct that yellow tone make your skin has more healthy look let me show you as you can see so my skin's the yellow tone especially on my and the hand and this has a little bit of purple tone it is a little bit thicker compared to the water gel I would say for blending is about the same. The thickness is about close the same as this one, Bureau. So this one, as you can see, so correct, correct my skin a little bit. Neutralize the yellow tone. So also because a little bit thicker, so I believe it offer more better coverage to block the sun. And the last one I want to talk about is Goss UV sunscreen. Also SPF 50, got a 4 plus for the PA. The different it is it is water resistant so it is waterproof and it's good for summer or if you need to go to jump in the pool or if you worry about all oh, raining day so this is good and for exercising if you get sweaty so this is good for for the waterproof and also the texture is great easy to apply okay it's like a watery creamy look this one very easy to blend it smooth i love this one especially summertime go to camping or go to the pool it is great so all of those Japanese sunscreens, they are chemical sunscreens, which means they are not too thick, easy to blend in. They don't leave the thick, the white cast, which I love it. And, um, and I just got this one. It's Aqua Skin Aqua. Also says has the water fill with it. So I expect it's the very lightweight, watery. So I'm going to try this one last. And my next video is going to let you know how do I feel about this one. Okay, thank you everyone. Hope you like my first YouTube video. See you next time, bye bye.